Here you go. Do you need anything else? Yes, light up the lamp. Namaste. Your mother? Mother? How are you? I'm all right. We were waiting for you. Okay, my child. <laughs> come in, mother. Come in, please. One minute. How can your mother be a... Only married women can participate. That's why I'm sitting here, away from everyone. Shrekha, what's this you're saying? I told Vera that she must invite her mother herself. Mrs. Rima is our own relative. She's Vera's mother. But she's not married. Shweta, watch what you say before you speak. Why, Radhika? I'm not participating in this ritual because I'm separated from my husband. So, she should also have that much understanding. Shweta, you of all people should know Vera's family very well. Both Mr. Malhotra and Mrs. Rima gave Vera away in the wedding ceremony. Did you forget? I remember everything, Radhika. But you are forgetting something. Mr. Prashant Malotra's first and legal wife is none other than Sonia. Now, if me telling the truth is hurting anyone else, then I will surely leave. If not for yourself, then you should have at least thought about your dear daughter, Rima. In good things. Anyways. Namaste, Rima. See, Shweta is absolutely right. Really, I shouldn't have come over here for the ritual. By wearing the sacred thread, it doesn't just make any woman married. Listen, Rima, don't mind Shweta. She will say anything. She doesn't think at all. I'm really sorry. Please. <sighs> no, no, Radhika. Why would I mind leaving now? Shweta is right. During the ritual, I don't want to become a bad omen for my daughter. You, you carry on with the ceremony. Namaste. Mother. Rima be here. Only married women can participate. Mr. Prashant Malotra's first legal wife is Sonia.